Ever wonder what these things are made from? Well, I'm gonna tell you the facts right now. Well, as you might have guessed, these are not solid copper, these copper pellets. They're only copper coated and they're copper coated over lead. The lead is not pure lead either. The lead is an alloy of antinomy, that's an element, another element, and lead. And the antinomy content is less than 1%. The rest is made up of lead. Now the copper is actually applied to the pellet by electroplating, the electroplating process. And the thickness, the approximate thickness of the copper over the lead is about 10 microns. Yup, so there you go, there you know. So uh, the fact that they've got copper on there makes them a lot safer to handle. Uh, without any fear of getting lead dust on your hands and also it provides some uh, added strength and rigidity to these pellets these particular ones are the barracuda power by h&n the h&n sport pellets uh, they have an excellent trajectory see this one oh yeah just about in the center that's pretty much in the center Wow, that's pretty good. Look at that. So that was one, two, three, four. That was me, first one, me, second one. Then my son, who's much younger and more accurate than me, obviously. And then that's his second shot there, which is basically in the center. Pretty good at 25 meters with the um, H&N 21.14 grain copper coated pellets. Victory. Uh, and very little deformation so these things really fly very very well um, I'll show you here this is an impacted uh, these are impacted pellets um, after 26 meters from 15 joules into a 1.5 millimeter thick steel target and you can see the cracking of the copper coating on the outside it tends to hold these pellets quite um, together quite well and stops um, uneven deformation of the pellet. Yeah.